All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Brian. I'm the owner operator at Boathouse Smokers down here in Ascension Parish, Louisiana. Uh, I have a test fire running in one of our larger offsets this morning. Uh, this is a 48 by 30 hybrid reverse flow. Uh, it has a double wall insulated firebox. It has the wagon tow with the 25 inch wheels. Um, it also has a three rack cabinet above the firebox. Uh, anytime we run a test fire on these things, uh, I like to run the temp up to 350, 400 degrees. When steel gets hot, it expands. When it gets cold, it contracts. A lot of times you'll get door movement. Uh, anyway, if they're gonna move, I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like for that to happen here instead of when it gets to Boston or New York or Maine or California. We've been shipping these things all over the country lately. So uh, let's take a look at it. If y'all could just bear with me too. We are working today, so it'll be a little background noise uh, in the shop. Uh, let's take a look inside this firebox first. Got a good little fire there. She's been running for, I don't know, about three or four hours uh, this morning. Uh, the warming cabinet is about 125, 130 degrees. I have the flow uh, completely shut off into that cabinet. So this is your valve that opens and closes the flow. I have it completely cut off. Now, if you wanted to use this, uh, you know, for extra cook space, you could open that flow uh, and it should come on up to, to your ambient temp of your cook chamber, whatever you're running. Uh, let's look at the cook chamber. Uh, right side is running right at 250. Uh, left side is also right at 250. Uh, I just added some wood so the, the fire's a little dirtier than I want it to be. And this is a little option too that we've added too. We put a little, a little thermometer gauge on each one of the exhaust stacks. And I guess what that does is that, that actually gives you a true, uh, <laughs> a, a, a true heat bearing of what's exactly going on. I mean, with your thermometers in the door, they only stick in there like two and a half inches or so. Uh, but everything is funneled to that exhaust where that heat's coming out. So that's going to be your true ambient, uh, you know, heat temp that's coming out. And it's not too far off. It's just showing about probably, I don't know, 15 degrees hotter um, than the main chamber. Let's take a look at the hinges. Uh, the customer who bought this unit, uh, he ordered the one inch uh, upgraded hinge, which is a one inch solid rod. Uh, we fabricate our own hinges here. Uh, they're fabricated from quarter inch plate. And these are the ones on the main chamber. If you look down on the firebox, uh, it's a little bit larger. Same style, one inch. It's got the one inch rod, uh, but it's got a little bit larger. This is about a nine inch hinge as to the word on the cook chamber. It's about, I think it's about a five inch hinge or something like that. Same as on the warming cabinet. We use a smaller uh, on the on the warming cabinet, but it does have the big one inch rod. Now these are available. You can get them. Uh, the standard is half inch. Uh, you can get them in three quarter as an upgrade uh, or one inch. I think the one inch looks fantastic on these big larger cookers, especially the ones with the with the thirty inch cook chamber. Uh, and you also deal them with. I mean, this firebox is thirty inches wide. Uh, this door right here is, is double wall quarter uh, with quarter inch uh, by one and a half tubing. You know, with insulation between them. this door probably weighs about 150 pounds by itself and it does not sag at all. Take a look at the latches. Uh, this is a latch we use on the firebox. Uh, it is adjustable for those guys that like to cook with their with their door open. We have one inch increments where you can open the door. Uh, when I'm cooking, I like my door fully open. I want as much air as possible to get inside of that firebox. Latches uh, for the warming cabinets. Uh, they're similar principle, they're just not adjustable. They work as a compression style. Uh, this little plate down here has a bevel on it. So as you close this thing, it tightens up, it seals it up real good. Uh, all the doors do have, uh, they do come with gaskets on them, you know, so it does seal them up really well. For the cook chamber, I use these solid rubber latches. Uh, they're cool to the touch. They're about seven or eight inches tall, so they're pretty long. They're easy to grab onto. Uh, and the way the latch system works is we got a half inch rod that drills through that door. And on the back side, there's a little latch with a wedge. So as you, as you tighten these things down, it rides up on that wedge and it compresses. Uh, and the warmer this thing gets, you know, the steel kind of expands and they get a little tighter. So it, it, uh, it works out really well. You can see we got a fire going in this thing now and there's no leakage at all. It seals these doors up really, really well. Let's take a look inside the main chamber. Another cool feature about these hinges is when you open the doors, you see how wide it allows those doors to open. I mean, it really allows those doors to get out of the way. So if you're doing a whole hog or a large animal or something, uh, it really gives you the space you need to, for the door to get out of the way. Uh, this unit here, it has, it's a, it's a three rack system, but the customer only wanted to put two racks in it because he would rather the space. Uh, he wanted like nine inch clear between the racks for doing 
you know, turkeys and stuff like that. So basically this is a three rack system, but it only has two racks inside of it. Uh, and this one does have the tuning plates. If you look down in there, you can see the tuning plates. And if you look up in the roof, you can see maybe uh, it does have some, some hangers in there for uh, hanging sausage, chicken, fish, uh, whatever it is that you want to do. And this is another option that we offer. Uh, I don't know if I'm if I'm crazy about it. I don't know if I like it or not. It's called a salamander. Uh, I don't know where that name come from. I don't know if anybody else is doing this. Uh, basically what it is, it's just a warming cabinet uh, that butts up against the back of the firebox and hangs underneath the cook chamber. Uh, it does not have any flow. It just relies on radiant heat from the firebox uh, to heat it. In my opinion, this will be perfect uh, for preheating your wood before you put them in the firebox. I mean, you have the big cabinet back there uh, if you want a, you know, a warming cabinet. This would just be absolutely perfect for preheating your wood. Let's look at the wheels and tires on this guy. Uh, this is a 14 inch wheel uh, with a 23 inch all-terrain tire. Um, I like the black wheel. It does have the black center cap and the black lug nuts go with it. We just have not put them on yet. We'll do that after paint. Um, we use uh, 3,500 pound trailer axles and spindles uh, to make sure that this thing is not gonna go anywhere. Um, this unit here weighs right at about 2,000 pounds, so uh, she's a big girl. Let's take a look at the front end and the wagon tow. Uh, keep in mind that this stuff is a little rough right now. I don't know if it's been cleaned up yet. It will all cleaned up. We'll get cleaned up when it goes to paint and all polished up. Uh, we make all this stuff in-house, the wagon handle. Um, the mechanism for steering is a 1,200 pound uh, basically, it's, it's an industrial turntable, basically a, a big lazy Susie. Uh, this thing will turn 180 degrees, uh, and my wife can actually move this thing around to be as heavy as it is. On, on a hard surface, uh, my wife's 2,000 pounds, my wife can pull it around. So, it makes it moving this thing around very, very easy. Give you one more quick walk around before I get out of here. I have a trailer to load up. I have to head down to South Florida for deliveries for the remainder of the week. Uh, I'm super proud of this guy. Came out super nice. I think the I think the customer is going to be very happy. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one.